<clears throat> Hello Gemini, thank you for joining me today. It's Sandra here from Wolf Moon Tarot. I hope you're all doing okay wherever you are um, on the planet. And um, right Gemini, this reading is going to look at your energies between the 17th, so, sorry, between the 7th to the 13th of December. I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, I've pre-shuffled the card to get your energy into the cards Gemini so um, I will do just do a, a final shuffle um, first of all of the um, Oracle of Visions cards just to get a couple of um, overall um, energies to start your reading off and see what they have to say so um, okay first of all we have number 43 um, and this talks about um, a pre preoccupation with self if you like um, perhaps a, a little bit of obsession or sometimes delusion or self-interest and um, that sort of energy and I'm not I'm not suggesting for one minute Gemini this is talking about you um, but there's an energy around you certainly um, a, a bit of an obsessive energy I mean it, it could part of that could be yourself you may be doing a lot of self-reflection introspection because that this this can mean about introspection you see the lady holding um, a mirror up looking a sort of very closely at herself um, there's lots of mirrors around the building, lots of windows and mirrors. And she's all sort of inspecting herself very closely. Um, so, you know, it's that sort of an energy, introspective energy, um, bordering on... The, so there's something that's bordering on a bit of an obsessive energy. Um, but it, it's either yourself, Gemini, some of you, or it's an energy like that that's around you at this time. But let's see. And remember, it's a general reading, Gemini, so um, it won't resonate with, with all of you. Now, the um, second card um, is number 25. And this, this is when things are a bit misleading. This is about illusion and confusion. So it sort of links in a little bit with, with the first card. Um, so this is like a magician energy, but it, it's creating an illusion. Um, and, and a delusion if you like so it's almost mesmerizing isn't it um, you can almost imagine him mesmerizing whoever's watching him um, so you know if you look at these so there's certainly an energy going on um, around you um, so there's something about introspection studying yourself very closely but you know, there's this illusory or delusion energy also. Um, sometimes this is about manipulation, so um, perhaps somebody like the magician energy, they can manifest and they can manipulate and change change a perspective on things according to, you know, what how they want something to unravel um, in front of you. So... Um, Let's see where this is going, Gemma. And remember, it's not, it's not, it won't resonate with everybody, with all Geminis. So I'll just do a final shuffle of the psychic tarot. So here's the heart of the reading, um, it's just either your energy or a situation or a combination of both. Um, then we have what you're thinking about, the root of the matter or hidden influences, um, past influences and the future going forward um, and then something else that the universe would like um, to bring to your attention. And then at the bottom of the deck we have uh, triumphant success and this would be the ace of swords in ordinary tarot now then it's from the mental part of the deck and the mind um, communication that sort of area and of course that represents yourself Gemini um, within tarot you are the air, an air sign uh, and within astrology as well but within tarot you're the, definitely the swords um, energy um, and ruled by mercury the planet of the mind and communication 
So here we've got triumphant success. So uh, in some area you're going to be very successful. You're perhaps going to cut away whatever these energies are that have come out. Um, you're going to be successful in cutting them away, cutting the um, shadows away, the dark, the uncertainty, um, and, and, and just taking control and taking charge. You're going to be very successful. Some of you are um, in that area with those energies, Gemini. So we'll just do a final shuffle of the Wheel of the Year, Tarot. And we'll lay them on top, a little bit of depth and clarity. There we go. And we have the Hermit. Um, and the Hermit is about... Um, Again, going in, introspection, um, but going in to find the answers when we're unsure about something and when we need to take time out um, and find a new way or try to understand something that, that we're a bit unsure about. Um, so there's the hermit energy. Okay. Now, at the heart of your reading, we have um, hope. This is a major arcana. This would be the star energy um, with an ordinary tarot. So um, so this is about having hope, um, holding the star in your hands, um, holding hope in your hands. And this is right at, at, in the centre. Um, the, the, heart, the hope card also brings forward healing energies with it. And we see lots of green here, which is to do with the heart chakra, um, and which is about love and relationships and, and everything that's meaningful for your heart. Um, and then, of course, the yellow, the beautiful starburst here. That's very much about the solar plexus, uh, which is the, our energy centre just behind our tummy button, um, which controls, it's about control, um, or personal control, autonomy. Um, and, you know, it's where our centre of strength is. So, hope. And then the clarifier is the fool. And, and this is about taking a leap of faith, um, starting something new, be a new beginning in some area. And you, so you're holding, you're holding out hope. You're, you're, you're hoping, you're holding out hope here, holding the star in the palm of your hands um, for a new beginning, Gemini. Um, it'll be something slightly different for all of you. So let's see where this is going. What you're thinking about, we have power and we have the Knight of Chalices or the Knight of Cups. Um, and the power, this is about strength, inner strength. You can see the we've got the man's face there and then we've got the lion's face. So, you know, we have... Um, you know, power, I, um, and I, I'm drawn back to this, the hope card, and and I was talking about the yellow, this the the starburst, which which looks very much like your solar plexus, which is about power, autonomy, and control, um, along with hope, and and here, this is what you're thinking about. You're thinking about power. You may be thinking about the strength or the power that you have, the, the power, the, your inner strength to draw on, to draw on. So um, you can draw on the lion, you know, to roar whenever you need to. So, you know, you may be, you may be thinking about, um, you know, perhaps not having enough power at this time. That may be on your mind for some of you. Um, but for others, you, you're thinking about how to tap into your inner strength. You may also be thinking about power dynamics globally, which I think a lot of people are at this time. So that's just for some of you. Now, the, the clarifier is the Knight of Chalices, um, the Knight of Cups. Um, and this is about, this is, the Knights are about action. The Knight of Cups is bringing a cup of love. Something that's meaningful for your heart is coming, uh, is being offered. Um, so this is what you're thinking about. So you're thinking about something that um, is going to make your heart sing and um, being offered um, to do with um, an issue of power in whatever sense that is, whether it's your inner power and an inner strength or whether it's something more external. 
gaining more control over something perhaps but it's something that's meaningful for your heart for your emotions and for your heart center now at the root of the matter um, or hidden influences we have the universe and the knight of swords so the universe um, is the world card in ordinary tarot it's the it's the last card in the major arcana um, when the major arcanas come come through, it's it's something significant, something significant to take note of. So you've already had two major arcanas, the hope card and the power, um, and now you have the universe. Um, and the universe comes forward when there's a, a, a cycle completing. So something is completing. Something's had its day, if you like, um, and it's coming to a close. Um, ready for going forward in a new way, a new beginning. I mean, you've already had the full card, which is about taking a leap of faith, a new beginning in some area. And I think, you know, if you look at your cards there, you know, having hope for a new beginning in some area. Now, so hidden influence at the root of the matter, there has been a cycle that's completed. And the Knight of Swords, um, the Knights are action, about action. This is your second Knight. You had, you were thinking with the Knight of Cups, but um, the Knight of Swords is the fastest Knight in the deck and he brings forward communication. Uh, he brings forward information, um, possibly about opportunities, but something that you, you need to be aware of. And he came in very quickly because this has already happened. So something was delivered very quickly um, to do with uh, a completion of a cycle. Now, past influences, we have um, the number eight, positive movement forward, and the strength card again. So it's the strength card is very similar to the power, but of course, just as you can see, slightly, slightly different there. Um, but again, it's, it's, it is a major arcana. So, um, past influences, positive movement forward. Now, in ordinary tarot, this would be the Eight of Wands, um, which is about rapid communication, communication coming in, or events moving forward. Um, in this particular deck, it talks about positive movement forward. So you can see the person in the sailing boat um, going forward, um, heading towards the sun, going, setting off on a new journey, if you like. But it's very positive energy. So something started to go forward um, in the past. And then we have the strength card clarifying it. And in this particular deck, as you can see by the picture, um, this looks like um, Hercules is, is got hold of the bull by the horns and he's having to hold the bull back. He's having to harness all of his strength to hold the bull back from charging forward, perhaps from charging over him. Um, of course, the bull's very angry, so it, it takes it takes some doing. So, so this clarified. This is about the need to, having to, you had to hold something back, or something had to be held back. Um, something that was coming forward quite quickly, um, but. There had to be uh, something had to be it had to be held back, um, or an aspect of this movement going forward um, had to be held back because um, it wanted to trample over yourself or those around you or gen in general. Um, so you you know grabbing the bull by the horns and holding it back, whatever it was, and having to harness all your strength to do that. Um, as things were moving forward. But perhaps moving forward too quickly, perhaps moving in the wrong direction, which, because as we know, if, if, a, if a bull is charging, it's very, very quick. Um, so yeah, so something had to be held back. Okay. I'm just going to ask for, um, I'm going to ask, could we have some clarification please for 
and the number eight positive movement forward and the strength card uh, in the past influences please for Gemini uh, 7th to the 13th of December reading so past influences positive movement forward clarified by the strength card having to hold the bull back having to hold something back utilizing all the strength to hold something back so could we have some more information so the, the card that's just jumped out Gemini is the chariot and this is again about something moving forward quickly so events suddenly moving forward and having to take the reins having to take control because of something moving forward very quickly so I'll just pop that back and another couple of shuffles So clarify for the positive movement forward, we have the Six of Cups um, and this is about people in our lives, memories, thinking about people from the past, people who have, you know, we've had a lot of love for um, and perhaps still are in our lives. So this is about um, family or friends or relationships. Um, you know, that have been in our lives for a long time. And, and sometimes it's about thinking about those sort of situations. So um, that's to clarify for this positive movement forward. So something moving forward quite quickly um, to do with um, family and relationships. And then the strength card is clarified by the two of ones. And this is when um, it's a time of planning um, and then, you know, and, and also having to choose um, which path you're going to take, which way you're going to go forward. Um, so you see here with the picture here, the young woman, she's actually chosen and she's just looking out the window now, waiting for to put a plan the, into into action. All right. Um, so but there's something about something came in very strong. Um, perhaps too quickly whatever path you chose it came in something came in too quickly and so you you had to utilize your strength to hold it back to, to to keep control of it whatever it was okay um and that sort of links in doesn't it with um the positive movement forward um and to do with uh, friends and family or relationships from the past so they're, they're the past influences, Gemini, um, leading on to having hope, wishing on a star and having hope for this leap of faith, this new beginning. Now, going forward, uh, we have the Wisdom card and um, we have the Princess of Pentacles. So um, this would be the Hierophant in Ordinary Tarot. It's another major arcana. So uh, we currently have one, two, three, four, um, five major arcanas now. Um, and oh, and, and the, the Hermit that came out, so that, that's six. So, um, so we've got six major arcanas that have come out. So this is quite, you know, significant um, information for you, for some of you, Gemini. Um, so, yes, yeah, so the wisdom, this is about um, drawing on your either your inner wisdom or seeking external um, counsel or external information. Um, we see here the wise man. Um, it looks like a religious figure, but um, generally in, in villages many, many years ago, they and, and sometimes in certain parts of the world, it's still the same. There will be a, um, a wise person in the village that families um, go to for advice or blessings. And um, they have lots of information. You can see he's carrying his book of knowledge here, lit up by the sun. So, you know, it's to be trusted. Um, and he has his, his little dog there, which is, to you know, again, um, a, a trustworthy energy. So, um, so going forward, this is, you know, drawing on your inner wisdom. Um, sometimes, sometimes this is about um, 
higher blessings, universal blessings, universal information that we can tap into. So sometimes it is very much about that. But it is about knowledge and gaining more wisdom. And the Princess of Pentacles is about balancing the books. So um, balancing what's coming in and what's going out. Um, within the picture here it's about money because Pentacles are very much about um, career, money, earnings, um, work, um, but what we have, what we don't have, that earth energies. Um, and here the Princess of Pentacles, she's writing in her ledger and she's adding up the money. Um, so she's managing what's coming in, but also will be managing the accounts and, 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 and you know, what goes out, what the money is spent on. So this can refer to money, work and income. It can also refer to uh, and other areas of your life where there has to be more balance. You know, it can't be everything coming in and nothing going out and, and, and vice versa. So, um, because that's life, isn't it? We have to have that balance in life. So going forward is about gaining more wisdom or seeking more information um, about balancing the books in some area going forward, balancing um, life, balancing situations, balancing energy perhaps going forward. Yeah, so also we're just I'm just not being allowed to move on from it at the moment. So, you know, getting more um, wisdom and more information about um, about invoices. I'm I'm drawn to say about invoices. You know, not missing um, what needs for some of you. What needs paying? What needs settling? Invoices that need settling. Um, all right, some, and you may have to seek wise counsel, perhaps for some of you, um, about the need to balance the books going forward. Now, right, we have another major arcana. So this this would be um, the magician in ordinary tarot, um, and this is about awareness. So this is about a raised awareness. You have a raised awareness in some area. Um, which links in quite nicely, doesn't it, with uh, wisdom, seeking more wisdom, having more wisdom. So this, you can see the crown chakra here with the magician is on fire. Um, and the magician has a good understanding. He, he, like, he can manifest his reality going forward. He, he taps into universal wisdom, um, raising his awareness. So the clarifier there is the moon and... The moon is when things are a little bit in the dark, when we things are a bit foggy, big vague, if you like, when we're, we're not sure about something. Um, the moon energy can also create illusions and delusions, which um, I'm drawn again to this um, magician type energy that came out first of all, which talked about um, illusions and delusions. Um, and manipulation perhaps, ma manipulation energy. Um, but there's something that um, has you have been unsure about, uncertain about, that's been in the dark. However, the universe wants to say to you, you're going to, you're going to get a better understanding. Your awareness is going to be raised, whatever this is to do with. Okay. I'm just going to ask, um, just going to ask for some more. Could we have some more information, please, about the um, awareness and the moon card? Could we have some more information about the awareness and the moon card, please? Advice from spirit, advice from the universe. So the magician energy here about raised awareness um, and it's something to do with the heart, something to do with um, what, something that's meaningful for your heart, um, something that's meaningful for your heart or for somebody else's heart around you. Um, all right, so the Ace of Cups generally is about something new coming in, something or it may be new information 
coming in to do with um, the heart area, love or relationships, or whatever is meaningful for you. Um, but you've got to protect, it's either your heart that's got to be protected or somebody else's heart that you'll be protecting for some of you. Um, Gemini. And then the Moon card um, is clarified by the Ten of Swords. Um, and this is this is the end or the end coming of a very painful and difficult situation. Um, but the end the end is in sight. The the crows are lifting. In ordinary tarot, would be would be swords in the back of somebody's in in somebody's back. So, but but when it comes forward, it means they're lifting. It's lifting. So whatever this painful, difficult situation has been, um, that. Um, has needed more clarity and more information that's been a bit vague um, that energy is starting to lift and will lift um, but there's a need to protect yours or somebody else's heart okay all right I'm going to just ask for two more cards please could we have two more cards please Two final messages for Gemini for this time, 7th to the 13th of December. So first of all we have reaching your destination. So your light is shining brightly, Gemini. <laughs> there you are. Um, and we see the bubbles on the journey. We've got the butterfly, which is about transformation. Um, and reaching your destination. You're, you're, you're on your journey and you're going to be reaching your destination. Whatever it is you're aiming for, whatever it is that you're hoping for here and on your, on your new journey, it says you're going to be reaching that. It's within sight. There it is, within that lovely big bubble. But it's a, it's a transformation energy also. So, but what it's saying here is your light is shining brightly. Beautiful. And here again, transformation. A fresh new way of living is emerging. And this is the phoenix that rises up from the ashes, Gemini. So a new beginning, a new way, learning from the past. But there's something, there is a cycle that's been completed now. And... There's going to be um, a fresh new way of living that's emerging now, Gemini. I think quite a, a telling message, perhaps not just for yourself, Gemini, Gemini, but but for many of us um, uh, around the planet. Beautiful, beautiful energies. All right, Gemini, I'm going to leave it there. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the reading, that it's had some meaning for you. It is a general reading, so it won't resonate with all of you. Um, but in any event, thank you for joining me and listening to this reading. Good luck going forward, and I hope you can join me again in the future. Bye-bye for now.